found that by digging around in these holes here, in all these rocks, you can find eels down in here. Crabs, all kinds of other stuff. Oh, there's one. There's an eel right there. Look at that. So I'm gathering all these eels, and I'm putting them in this jar right here. This week's foraged green is dock. It's kind of like got an arrow-shaped leaf, and lots of times there's striations of red in it. So you can see here, that's got a long stem, and there'll be like red on the stem. Now it's time to add the eels. Ooh. <laughs> That's a pretty amazing bite of food right there. Got an eel, a crab, and some dock all in one. How is the, how is, <laughs> how's my seafood chowder? Mmm. The crab is extremely crunchy. The eel is slightly crunchy, but the eel almost has like a very subtle, light, fishy flavor. And the dock is very comparable to spinach. An excellent forage green. I was gonna go fishing, the surf was too nasty, so I made do with what I had around me. This is, I would say, one of the most useful items on Zap, a bandana. I use this thing for everything. I end up drying my feet off with it when I cross a river or get out of the ocean. I tie my bag onto cars that I'm hitchhiking with. I use it as a, a scarf around my neck when I get cold. It's hot, you can get water on it and it cools you off. Or I put it on my head when it's too sunny. It has unlimited uses. And this morning, I realized I brought coffee, but I have no way to filter it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ah, this is this pot's really hot on my hand. See, there you go. Bandana would also make a wonderful pot holder. Bada boom. Ah, the bandana works superbly. Every time I need something, it ends up being the thing I need. Last week we were talking about death commas and how they're similar to wild onions. So this week I found a bunch of wild onions, so it's very convenient. You can see here that the leaves are much more of a U shape than a V shape. If you pick the wild onion too and you and you smell it, it smells slightly onionish. It's not going to be as bitter as a death comma, and it has a, a very mild onion flavor. And you just dig them up a little bit. How does the bulb of a wild onion compare with a regular? garden grown onion. They're pretty much incomparable. That's like a sweet and it also has a very like starchy and like it's really thick on your tongue. It's not really that oniony at all but it has a nice texture and it's quite delicious. The definifying characteristic really of a wild onion is its flour. Mm. Sweet, very mild, almost tastes like honey. Been on the south coast just kind of foraging around for a couple days and I ran into this cool guy and we were talking and uh, he offered me some chips and I was like, oh, I can't eat that. So I started explaining what I was doing. He was like, well, I have these pistachios that my buddy grew and gave to me. So we did a trade. I traded him my best piece of jade that I'd found for this. Holy dear God. It's like a whole gallon Ziploc bag full of homegrown pistachios. I don't even know, know what to do with this. Except eat it. I'm really hungry too. <laughs> well, if it's uh, Valentine's Day, you're gonna have a hard time taking your girlfriend out to dinner on Zap. But if you get real lucky, you might get a fish and then you can make her dinner. Look at that, that's a big one. There's our perch. And you also see the wild onions that I gathered this afternoon. Uh, and we got some rice, some Swiss chard, and some dried persimmons. So there you go, Allison. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Look at all this soap root that was right next to my camp last night. The more I learn about this, the more I'm starting to realize that there's food all around me when I walk around in my environment here in Big Sur. It's not a half bad view to wake up to in the morning, is it?
Uh oh. Probably a Valentine's Day present. <laughs> Look at it, isn't Ew, don't it? Don't get it on me. Don't get it on you. Don't get it dripping. Aren't you excited? Yay.